Okay, so let's get straight into this, guys. So this is the Karazhan bite size pre-quest that you need to do for the attunement. So firstly, you want to head out to Karazhan, which is in Deadwind Pass, and get Arcane Disturbances and Restless Activity. There's a few things to note before you start this quest line. You may need flying if you haven't got a Warlock to summon you up to Arcatraz. You may want the key to Arcatraz if you don't know anyone who's got it, and a gear score like Tony Stark to actually be able to get into dungeon groups. Once you've got both the quests, you're going to want to head to where I am on the map, and this is to find the two cellars. So they're both opposite each other. You need to go in this cellar to go and start finding a water source, and then opposite, there's the other cellar. So they're, all, they're both close to each other anyway, so no problems there. In both of these cellars, you'll find a different water source. So this is the pool, so you'll use your crystal to get a reading, and then when you go into the other cellar, there's the well. So you'll find this well, use your crystal to get the reading from the well as well. Well as well. Anyway, so you want to kill all the mobs you find when you're running around as well. So I'm saying well a lot. Killing all the yeah, restless souls and uh, just general mobs that you see because they drop the essences that you need. Once you've got the 10 essences and got both readings, you'll head to Dalaran. As you can see here now, I was quite lucky because I had a mage doing this with me. So we was portaling around, which definitely sped it up a little bit. But you'll head over to Dalaran, which is an altar at Mountains. Hand this quest in. If you've got a mage, get a mage portal back to Shatraf because you need to go and speak to Khadgar. And Khadgar is located right in the center of, center of Shatraf, where I am now. So once you hand this quest in, you're then going to get your first dungeon quest. So this is where your Tony Stark gear score comes in. So you're going to be going to Shadow Labs. Shadow Labs is a fairly easy entry level, level 70 dungeon, I would say. The only downside to it is in comparison to Architraz and Steam Vaults, where we're going to be going soon, you have to clear the whole thing. In the others, you don't even need to kill a boss. So super quick, like this, you clear your way to Murmur, you kill Murmur, hopefully you get some fat loot. And then I will just highlight with an arrow the thing that we're going to be looking for, which is the arcane container. So you're going to then go over to this container and loot it. Now, the fragment that you're after is not actually in the container. When you loot the container, it spawns one of these guys. You'll then kill this guy, and he will drop the fragment that you need. So once you've done Shadow Labs, you'll get the fragment from this guy at the end. Go and hand it back into Khadgar, and you'll get your second part of the quest, which is for Steam Vaults and Architraz. So Steam Vaults, you don't need to kill any bosses. I'm doing this super speed. You just have to clear up to where the first boss is. So you don't even need to go as far as the first boss is just before. So I'll slow it down as we get there, which should be any second now. Nope, timing was off. Here. So where the pool is next to me, I'll put an arrow there. You just need to jump down there with your group. There'll be another container similar to the one at the end of Shadow Labs. You loot it. It will spawn an ad. You kill the ad. You loot the fragment. Once you've got the fragment, that's all good. You're now ready to go into here, which is Architraz. So again, Architraz, don't need to kill any bosses. By all means, if you need the loot, kill the bosses. We did kill the bosses in this particular run, but we've done lots and lots of attunement runs for people in the guild where we haven't actually killed any bosses. We've just bypassed as much trash as physically possible, run up this ramp in the first room, which you'll see us go up to once we finish killing this boss. Um, and you've got a limited amount of mobs that you need to kill, not many at all. But Architraz is slightly more difficult, so you may need a better gear group. Steam Vaults, you could get away with some level 68s and stuff like this. Architraz, I would recommend 70s, because some of the, especially the robots that are laid on the floor, uh, that spark lightning out all over the place. You can see someone in our group now has died. It just happens. But once you're in this room where we are now, you'll kill a few mobs, get through, then you turn right. As soon as you walk into this room with the void spawns, you'll see the, the cache or the arcane container on the floor. Open it. The mob will come out, kill the mob super, super fast, and you'll get your last fragment. It's from here things are going to start to get slightly more difficult. So you need to do Black Morass. Now, to do Black Morass, you need to have completed the quest chain outside of Caverns of Time, where you follow a little guy around. He talks to you about time and all wonderful things to do with that. And then you have to do Old Hillsbrad Foothills. So Old Hillsbrad Foothills is part of part of the, the quest chain to be able to actually get into Black Morass. And Black Morass is part of the quest chain for the key to um, Karazhan. So once you've killed him, you want to talk to this guy, which is Medivh. You'll speak to him. You'll hand in the Master's Touch. That's another quest ticked off the list. He is then going to send you back to this guy, which is Khadgar in the center of Shatraf. And then he is going to go full circle, do a little bit of speech, and then he's going to send you back to the entrance of Karazhan, where you'll hand it in. And congratulations, you are now officially attuned to Karazhan. I hope this was informative enough for you and i'll see you on the next one